all good things uh, come to an end. Um, sadly, uh, we're leaving um, Orlando now, uh, Disney World, uh, back home to uh, the Netherlands. Uh, we're traveling from uh, MCO uh, here in Orlando, which is the main uh, airport. Um, going to the car return, I think uh, we'll just show you how to do that, because that might be a nice heads up um, for those uh, traveling here and uh, having to return the car to Terminal A and B. If you're heading uh, towards Terminal C, then you have to uh, find a different video, because uh, that's not where we are going now. There are multiple ways uh, to get to the airport uh, from uh, Disney World or the Disney World Orlando area. Um, we prefer uh, to take up the Interstate uh, 4 South um, until we reach the uh, 528 um, towards uh, the airport. Um, it's a, a toll road, um, but we think it's worth it. Um, we're now heading towards uh, exit 11 that will take us uh, towards the airport. So the main problem uh, when returning your car is uh, the locals because um, they uh, in general know where they're heading and uh, you as uh, tourists have no clue where you're heading. Um, so a, a nice uh, work around this is um, you've got terminal A, B and C. Um, stay to the left uh, for terminal A, stay in the middle for terminal B and uh, when it's possible uh, go to the right when you're on terminal uh, C. Each uh, terminal has uh, their own uh, car rental return. Um, and also, as you can see, they have painted on the ground um, which lane you should be uh, for the correct uh, terminal. Now here comes the first uh, minor stress point. Um, as you can see, um, the big Terminal C side is uh, covering uh, three lanes. Um, just follow the, the markings on the road themselves and ignore uh, this sign. Now our terminal A is uh, peeling off to the right there, they've got their own car rental return. We're heading for terminal B, so we're going to stay in this lane. And if you're heading uh, towards uh, terminal C, uh, Bridge Airways for instance, um, then just keep in the right lane. Here's the next uh, confusing panic moment. As you can see, uh, Terminal B is marked and Terminal C has uh, disappeared, um, but stay in the middle or uh, the right lane uh, to head uh, towards Terminal C. And if you do miss your uh, turn off, uh, just don't panic. Um, it's a, a giant loop, so you'll come back uh, to the start again and uh, you can try again. Now this is a key point, um, just stay in this lane and don't move uh, to the left as uh, the left will take you to the uh, regular parking garage and uh, straight on will take you to the um, car rental return. And there you go, um, this is our exit uh, towards the car rental return. So all the major uh, car rental companies uh, have their uh, return uh, right here in this garage. We have uh, hired a car with Avis, so we are going to follow the uh, Avis uh, signage uh, from uh, here. So once you have uh, returned your car um, and everything is okay, uh, make sure that everything is okay and follow the signage uh, within the garage. Um, that will take you to an elevator. Uh, you will take that elevator uh, one level down um, then you'll find uh, the uh, walkway uh, underneath uh, the road that's outside. Um, and once you have uh, exited that, if you're lightly uh, packed, you can take the escalator up. Or if you're heavily uh, packed uh, like we are, um, you're going to take the elevator to the uh, ticketing area or the check-in area. We're in luck, um, we're flying Delta and the check-in is uh, just around the corner. Um, also we've uh, got uh, Skype priority so we can check in uh, on the right here. 
checking was a breeze. Um, we're just passing, uh, I think, the last uh, Disney store you will uh, see uh, as you exit uh, Orlando. Um, we're heading towards the train uh, that will take us to the correct uh, satellite terminal. Um, and there we're going to look uh, for a lounge. As we have exited uh, the train, um, we are looking for the Delta Sky Club. Um, of course, flying a business class on Delta doesn't give you a lounge access, um, but our credit card does. Um, we've been here before, so we know it's somewhere around the corner and uh, you have to take an elevator or stairs uh, upstairs to uh, get to, to the lounge. Well, the lounge itself, uh, the design kind of uh, reminds me of, um, you know, the 80s, uh, you know, like an episode of Dallas. Um, it, it's, you know, very classic design. Um, I guess it hasn't been uh, redone uh, for a long time. Uh, but, you know, it's a, a clean uh, place, uh, staff are nice. Um, we only stayed for a coffee. Uh, there's a good coffee machine in the corner near the buffet and some water and then we headed out again uh, to go to our gate. Good thing uh, about MCO is uh, once you are in the satellites uh, your gate uh, really is never that far away. Um, our gate's at the end of the uh, building, um, still a short walk. Um, it's quite busy today, um, as you know it's not as bad as it can be um, but it is lunchtime so there's uh, a lot of flights going out uh, at this uh, time. Um, I'm also going to try uh, to see if I can get a clear shot of the plane, um, which I fail uh, at miserably um, because there's always something blocking it uh, when I try to take a photograph as I was this time. I just managed to, to get the nose of the plane. So whenever flying uh, in the US, uh, I have to think about uh, the Keen uh, Peel uh, comedy skit uh, about the pre-boarding. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, look it up uh, on YouTube. It's uh, very funny and uh, very uh, realistic. Uh, um, we're in uh, row one, uh, just here on the left. Today uh, we're flying on uh, Delta. Um, the airplane is an Airbus A321. Um, we're heading towards uh, New York, uh, JFK Airport. Um, flight should uh, take us around uh, over the two hours, so two hours and 15 minutes about uh, that. Um, we've got a slight delay, I think it's about uh, 40 minutes uh, as we're pushing back, um, but we should make it up uh, in the sort of in the flight time that's calculated. Um, I'm sitting uh, in row one uh, in business class. Unfortunately, I've got a, a very scratched up uh, window, so it's uh, very hard for the camera to focus, uh, so I will not be able to get the shots uh, that I uh, would like to make. As we get ready for takeoff, please settle in. And from all of our crew, thank you for flying with Delta. Unlike the inbound uh, flight, uh, we did get a meal uh, this time. Um, I must have enjoyed it because uh, my plate is empty and of course I uh, forgot to film it. Um, I think it was some type of uh, lasagna. 
Um, I gave, do remember giving the vegetables to my wife to make her meal a bit better. Um, she got the only gluten-free uh, option on the menu, um, which was, uh, I think, canola um, with... Uh, chicken and some spring beans it was not as dry as it looked and she said it was okay um, we're just happy that we got something to eat uh, on this flight I always try to uh, spot something interesting on the takeoff and landing, so I also book the seats accordingly. Um, but it's always a gamble. Uh, this time I gambled wrong. I hope to uh, have uh, the uh, Manhattan skyline uh, in the distance, um, but we arrived uh, far more westerly um, to make a 180 turn and coming back uh, to land at JFK. Um, still actually quite interesting as a uh, flight nerd, an AV geek <laughs> as they say, um, because this is an approach I've uh, never done before uh, at JFK. plane ticket cost us $244 per person. Um, that is for a one-way ticket uh, from Orlando um, to uh, New York. Um, in first class on Delta, um, I consider that a good value. Um, we are traveling uh, with three large cases and hand luggage. Uh, that's all included in the price. Um, the meals included uh, in the price. Um, so all in all, a good deal. Um, you know, if you're going to compare it with, for instance, uh, Southwest uh, at the moment, um, we're even uh, cheaper off if I would book this flight uh, for next month. Um, flight was good. Um, cabin crew was very nice. Um, so really nothing uh, to complain about. So that will, you know, appease those uh, who think I complain uh, too much. Is uh, Delta much better than its uh, competition on these uh, inter-America uh, first cut last flights. Um, I really don't think so. I don't think there's really a noticeable difference between United American Airlines uh, or Delta in this case. Um, they pretty much offer the same uh, products. They pretty much offer the same pricing. Um, so it really comes down uh, on what uh, hardware you're getting uh, that day, which plane you're flying on, um, you know, the crew, um, and if everything goes well that day uh, with uh, being on time. So no, I don't really think um, they're better. Um, I think they're pretty much all the same. So uh, Terminal 4 uh, has been used uh, by Delta only since uh, last year, uh, 2023. Uh, Delta moved its operations from Terminal 2 um, down to this terminal. Um, an interesting fact which I didn't know is uh, my home airport in the Netherlands uh, is uh, owned by the Schiphol uh, Group. Uh, and actually that is the same group that uh, owns uh, Terminal 4 here in the US. Uh, didn't know that until I googled uh, the history of uh, Terminal 4 here. Um, another oddity we encountered uh, was with our uh, luggage. Uh, one of our cases uh, arrived on time on the belt. Uh, we took it off uh, and we stood there waiting for about 10 or 15 minutes for the other suitcase, uh, which wasn't coming. Um, everybody from the plane was sort of hanging around and really didn't understand what was going on. And uh, just as we sort of slightly were getting uh, worried uh, about uh, the location of our uh, cases, um, they announced uh, that the rest of the luggage was delivered on a, a different belt. Um, so that was very odd, uh, but uh, it ended well. No uh, customs to clear, as it is a uh, regional uh, flight um, from MCO to uh, JFK. 
And uh, we're now going to uh, look for the SkyTrain. Uh, it was a bit hard to find it, despite uh, that we've done this a bit before. Um, but you know, getting old, memory is not that uh, good anymore. Um, we finally found it. Uh, there was just one elevator uh, working uh, to take us up to the uh, level of the SkyTrain. Um, SkyTrain is a train system um, that loops the airport, uh, connect connecting all the uh, terminals here. Um, but there's also an option of a separate uh, train that does the same loop, but will take you to a Jamaica station. And uh, that station will connect you to the main uh, subway uh, of the system of the New York uh, City subways. Um, but we're heading towards uh, Terminal 1, um, as we've got a, a room reserved uh, at the TWA Hotel, um, because we are flying out uh, tomorrow. Um, so we're going to spend a, a night there. We were in uh, luck. Uh, the first train that uh, came to the station, um, the air train, um, I noticed that I've been calling it sky train, but it's the air train here at the uh, JFK. Um, the first train uh, that uh, came um, will take us directly to the hotel. So it's just a uh, one stop uh, as it goes anti-clockwise. Um, arriving at the uh, uh, air train station there at the TWA hotel, um, it was a big mess. Um, it, the path was clearly marked towards the hotel, you know, it's just so short. Um, you know, three minute walk or five minute walk, um, but it was a, totally uh, a construction uh, site. Um, we're going to do a full uh, video on the TWA hotel uh, for those who, uh, you know, enjoy that. It's a very interesting building, um, but more on that in a later video. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, please do uh, like and subscribe and you know leave some comments tell me uh, what you think of the videos uh, your experiences of uh, JFK and uh, MCO and car rental at MCO you know please share um, your um, ideas and thoughts on it so once again thank you for watching uh, bye bye